Today was the 14th of February, 2024, Valentine's Day. You know how it is, guys. Some of you guys had great days, some of you guys had sad days. I had a bit of a weird day. Let me talk about it as soon as I've uh, found out what I'm doing with the fucking Minecraft. Alright, I suppose, you know what, I'll leave this for later. I can't be fucked with this anymore. Actually. Nah, I'm gonna go, uh, go work on the oil rig. Leave those diamonds for later. So basically today, I'm, yeah, I, I've just, uh, popped on the crater ball quickly and I looked at the layout of the, uh, of the oil rig, so I'm gonna go and finish that. Um... I'll start with taking some unused chests from my current chest room and then move to the fucking rig base. Alright, so today um, I woke up. So remember yesterday I said I was going to have an early night and I actually did. Um, not an early night compared to some people, but compared to me recently it absolutely was. I think I fell asleep round one in the morning. And um, it was... Uh, oh. I woke up around nine feeling, feeling great. Uh, it's, you know, it's crazy what happens when you fall, when you actually go to sleep at a sensible time, you know, it's fucking unreal. There's the buckets, there you go. And, um, yeah, I woke up, had, uh, had my breakfast, had my, had my tablets for the, uh, um, antibiotics and all that shit. And, um, came upstairs and got to work. And, uh, what did I do first? I can't remember what I did first. I think I did do a fair bit of vasting around, you know, just watching YouTube and, and shit. And oh, yeah, no, no, I remember now. <laughs> the first thing I did, um, was... Hold on. One of my good friends who I talk to almost daily on Discord, um, he basically, he's even worse, when it comes to body clock, he's even worse than me, he stays up, so he literally, he only, he's only awake during fucking night time really, and um, so I usually wake up to a bunch of messages from him at like 6, 7 in the morning as he's going to bed, oh yeah, let me bring some iron doors, or regular doors, whatever. Oh, wait, oh shit, I need the, I'll, I'll get, oh fuck it, not now. Remember the elevator block for this later. Um. So yeah, I woke up to a bunch of messages from him. One of them, he was sharing a, uh, a there's a website called Chaotic, spelt with a K. And uh, it's got some pretty gnarly stuff on there. It's all about like murders and there's actually a lot of porn on there as well. I really don't like the porn on there. You know, it's like th there'll literally be a video of somebody getting their head blown off and then next to it there'll be a porn video. It is so uncomfortable. I can't believe. Oh, I actually got it right. I can't believe that shit like is next to each other. It's fucking disgusting. Um, you, you feel gross just looking at it next to each other. It's oh. So yeah, this website is super fucked. But for some reason... I have some morbid curiosity with with a lot of these videos. You just can't look away. You just can't look away. Um, and, you know, so I started my day off watching some videos of, like, Mexican bar fights that turn into shootouts. It's, it's like, it's really probably not a good way to start your day. <laughs> but that's how I started mine. And I'm pretty unfazed by that kind of stuff. I'm not going to... I remember like the first video I saw of somebody getting shot in the head. I thought about it for weeks, but just over time, you know, you, you just, I literally haven't thought about it now until I'm now recollecting the day. So, um, yeah, it's just, I just find it really, w sometimes I'm worried about myself. Like, why do I find this so interesting? Am I a future serial killer? Unlikely, but still. You know, it, I'm like, why am I finding this so fascinating? Like, I, I, I scroll down, I see a video, and it's like, me like Mexican bar fight turns into triple homicide, and I'm like, I have to click on it. It's really weird, um, but I think I'm not alone because websites like that are really popular. And what's super fucked is the people that comment on those websites that they're so fucked in the head. All right, let me sort out here. So I come in. I'm gonna make. 
left wood, right stone. This is going to be cobble here. This is going to be the start of the deep slate. Cobble. I've got so I'm going overkill. I always go overkill with a chest room. Except that first one. That was a shit one. I, I kind of knew that was temporary, but I just really don't like that base. So I always got overkill with the chest room, and you never know. This one time on, on my realm with my late friend that I used to play with, um, I, I started that world as a solo, and um, I built the chest room. I was like, fucking hell, I'm never going to use all these chests. And little did I know, played on that realm almost every day for over a, a year. And we actually had to expand the chest room. That was a cool, that was a cool sort of like realization. Like, damn, we actually play a lot. So who knows? I'm thinking of b blocking up these doors and just making it a full. Oh no, I don't need to do that. <laughs> Fucking, I don't need to do that. <laughs> if I need more chests in the future, I can block up these doors. Um, yeah, I need to go get more wood before I do. Right, planks. Right, we'll go planks, logs, planks. And what the fuck's this? I guess all random miscellaneous. This is a cobble. I guess this would be... I don't know. Fucking hell. I don't know how I'm going to do all this. I'll find a way. I, I don't know whether to do it in columns or rows. I haven't decided. Uh, yeah, it probably makes sense to do it in row, in columns. For some reason, I want to do rows, though. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do rows. Maybe I'll just be different and do rows. Let's fuck it. Let's do rows. Um... So yeah, I had a little bit of a weird start to the day, just watching all that shit. Um, didn't really affect me though. And um, then I finally got to work and I, I looked at my spreadsheets with the names and shit I have. And I say, listen, I need to send these letters today. And um, I wrote those down. And, um, and printed them off, fixed the printer, printed them off. And uh, made sure that those letters were sent. And... Um, that took me longer than I'd like to admit. I mean, I'm 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 custom making all of these letters. I'm looking at whether these people have planning permission. I'm looking at whether these people uh, can have phone numbers I can contact them by. So I'm trying to in in the letter include that sorry to hear that your planning permission was rejected or congratulations on your planning permission being accepted. And uh, also, one of them was uh, I can see that the planning permission was accepted in 2022, but the Street View pictures are from 2022. So this guy could have actually built a house by now and I could be wasting my time sending shit to him because I only really deal with land. Definitely not, I, I've got no business dealing with new builds at the moment. It's not really, not, I can't do anything with them. And, um, I, uh, <laughs> I looked around on Google Street View. I was like, okay, I could see that it was opposite a funeral home. And I was like, oh, if only I could just teleport to this fucking street in person. Because it's, it's, this place is like maybe an hour and a half drive. So it's obviously just, I'm not doing that. Might as well, at that point, I might as well just send the letter anyway. Because it's going to cost me less in petrol just to send it on the floor. So basically what I'm trying to say is, I turn my phone on no caller ID. And I'm like, oh, this is so inappropriate that I'm just going to do it. And I call this fucking fu uh, funeral home. And you know, they pick up the phone, bless them. They pick up the phone with lo lots of sympathy, like, hello, are you alright? <laughs> and I was like, hi, hi, hi. Yes, um. And I, I thought I thought for a while, because the phone was ringing for a while, and I was like, should I say sorry, it's, this is weird, or should I just ask? I'm like, yeah, fuck apologising the second I pick up the phone. I'm just going to ask. And uh, and I said, hi, is this the office? I think it was like Stains upon Thames. I was like, is this the, of is this the office in Stains upon Thames? And uh, the lady was like, no, this is the head office, there's nobody in the office. And I was like, what, there's nobody in the office? She's like, yeah, but we can deal with anything you want. She's thinking about funeral arrangements. And I'm like, no, no, sorry, this is really location dependent. Um, when will there be somebody in the office? And she said, next Monday. I'm like, what the fuck? Imagine if you're a local and the, the fucking funeral home's locked for... There's, wait, there's people in... I just realised. Well, I guess not all funeral homes. Most funeral homes that I've been to always have like morgues attached. Not morgues. I don't know what the correct word is, but they keep dead people in the fucking funeral home, and um, for people to come and see. And uh, shit. Well, I suppose maybe that one doesn't have one. But yeah, there, there was nobody in there. I was like bollocks. Right, never mind, miss. Thank you. 
and uh, she was probably a little bit confused. I was like, yeah, no, I, I said to her, no, it's not time sensitive, don't worry. <laughs> and she's thinking, what do you mean? You're fucking, one of your relatives must be dead, and now you're like, we're gonna, gonna wait a few days to book the funerals. She was, she probably hung up scratching her head, but that doesn't matter. I um, went across the road and I saw this other guy, who he, he had an office that sells dental equipment, and uh, I gave him a call, and um, he was a little bit confused. He's like, you all right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this is the guy in Stains Upon Thames. Um, you see that plot of land across the road from your office? And he's like, yeah. Is there a building on it yet? <laughs> and he was, ba he basically couldn't understand what I was trying to say. The, the phone reception was too shit. And I just said, fuck it. Don't care. I can't be bothered. So now I, j I just sealed up the letter and sent it. You know, if he's built on it, he'll just ignore the letter anyway. Uh, wasn't really worth the time I was chasing up. I could have just, should have just done it anyway. But yeah, whatever. Um, needs must. And, uh, so yeah, pack package those up. And um, put on my lunch, put on my bolognese, and uh, had that. I was watching some Futurama whilst I was eating. One of my favourite things to watch at the moment whilst eating. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, then I had the uh, the call with my with my friend and his father who live in Turkey. I had my call with them, and. Um, yeah, they're always quite long, so I try to allow some time for it. Um, they asked me what time is suitable today, and I said three, knowing that I'd have to leave for work at four. Um, we haven't had a call that's lasted an hour yet, but they usually go like 40, 50 minutes. And again, you know, it's just classic me being shit at timekeeping. I didn't allow enough time for that shit. Um, I should have said two, because then I could have comfortably gotten ready and, you know, made sure all my stuff was ready and left. Um, unfortunately, though, no, you know... <laughs> Timekeeping is not my best asset uh, I have, and um, uh, so I, I hung up. I said, "Guys, I've got to go. I've got to work soon." I hung up in a rush, and um, they had some really funny ideas with RC drones and stuff. I find that you know, <laughs> I always have a nice giggle with these guys. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's normal when you're going to go into business with somebody to like ha really have a lot of fun talking to them, but yeah, they got some funny ideas, you know. Um, I won't go into too much now. What the hell is this? Has this always been here? It must have been. That's weird. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I hung up the phone with them. Jumped in the shower. My shower works now. My shower's, my hot water's been working for a while. I realised yesterday. I don't think I mentioned it. But yesterday, um, my dad mentioned that his girlfriend was in the bath. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Because I, I asked him. I was like, Where, where's your girlfriend? Because, uh, he was making dinner alone. And he said, oh, she's in the bath. I was like, oh, yeah, cool. I was like, wait, hold on. You told me the fucking bath wasn't working? You said the whole water was broken. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? I've been going to my nan's house, your mum's house. I've been going to your fucking mum's house for a week to wash because you told me the hot water doesn't work. You're like, oh, yeah, don't worry, dude. Fuck it, <laughs> Um, So, yeah, so I showered here today. Much more convenient. <laughs> and, um... But I will say, though, I might... I might Make that a semi-regular thing. Just go to my nan's house for a bath. It's fucking it's a really lovely experience. Let me tell you. Um, but yeah. Um, so showered here. Got ready. I put some hair gel in. Put some hair gel in that the barber linked me up with. Oh well. It's only three. It's no joke. Um, got a bit of lag there. Yeah. So um, put the. Should I do more? Nah. What was I saying? What was I saying? Come on. I've lost it again. Yeah, put my hair gel in, that's it. Put my hair gel in. Didn't really like it. You know, I thought I fucked up a little bit. I was trying to scoop around with my finger where there wasn't other people's hairs. It's so gross. <laughs> but I appreciate I appreciate the uh, the gift from the guy. Um uh, yeah, I didn't really like it, so I just put my head under the shower again, got out the door, brought the flowers, obviously, and all the flower, single rose, for this lovely girl at the work that I'm just going to give this to. And I did give it to. Not directly, though. Um, and, uh, yeah, so basically the plan was, it was a genius plan uh, by my sister. She said she didn't, she shouldn't be telling me this. She says, I can't be telling you this girl secret. And I'm like, shut up, you know, you're a nerd, you know, you don't have the girl secrets, all right? But she had the genius idea of, um, cause I, once or twice before, when everybody's socialising at the end, I will, 
hard of myself to go and fill up the tyre in my car because my tyres, I guess, got a tiny hole in it. Keep going flat. So I did that, and whilst I did that, I uh, took the, the flower out of my boot and put it on her bonnet. And um, yeah, I haven't heard anything yet because obviously I put it on. Then I went back and socialised for a bit and then um, left. So I, I haven't heard anything yet, which would be weird if I did already. But uh, it's got me a little bit anxious feeling like, oh my god, what's going to happen now? It's done now. I also didn't put it under the dashboard wing mirror. Um, and I, j I looked at it and I was like, it wasn't very, it wasn't windy at all. Um, so it probably stayed there. But I thought, you know what, if it blows away, it wasn't meant to be. You know, the, the universe works this way. If it blows away... It wasn't meant to be. Okay. Um, so yeah, and, and also when I—I I mean, today it was—it was really quite. Uh, it was quite a strenuous um, service, you know. Obviously, it was Valentine's Day. There was a lot of pre-orders, and um, the service was slightly different than I'm used to. Different menu, and um, you know, there was some stuff that just didn't add up to me, and I, f I felt really stupid again, you know. I think I made a few mistakes with some of the table numbers, and I just really, I was getting pissed off with myself. The chefs were getting pissed off with me. And, um, yeah, I was upset with myself a little bit. Also, um, somebody I went to school with in my year, somebody I went to school with was like the fucking, she used to be the general manager at the restaurant, and now she'd come back just to help out. My sister's now the general manager, but she's on holiday, so this girl came back just for the day to help out. And that made me feel like a fucking loser, man. It's like, this girl is the same age as me, and she's at the top of the restaurant, and I'm at the bottom of the restaurant. And I'm like, shit. Like, there, I, there's no lower than me, and there's no higher than... Well, actually, well, I guess the owner's higher than her. And she now got, she's gone on to own her own restaurant. Which is great, and I'm not hating on her at all. It just makes me concerned about myself when I see other people in that position at the same age as me. Um, and yeah, I felt like, uh, like fuck... Alright, I need to fucking get my gear on, boy. Um, but yeah, I don't know. She, yeah, she was a little, I don't know, she, she was a little, I feel like, I said hello, and I feel like she fucking aired me, or, or she was just super busy. It's likely that she was super, a lot of these managers are always really busy, but then she was really friendly afterwards, when we, obviously we had to bump into each other many times. Um, but, uh, yeah, she was alright after that, but initially when I said hello, I think she fucking ignored me. I was like, what the hell? I was like, did I get a name right? I swear I got a name right, and I did. <laughs> Not a big deal. Um, so yeah, um, so w when we're all socialising afterwards. Oh shit, I've got so much leather now, I can do item frames. Yes. See, um, so yeah, when we're all socialising afterwards, um, the conversations were, they're, they're all right, you know, I was enjoying them, but I, I, for, I, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot to mention. I took a brief toilet break in the middle of the shift, and I went on my phone, and um, I'd seen that, I, I forgot that I was on private, to be honest, I didn't know that I was, but uh, I, I switched on private, because I had, with this fight coming up, I didn't want the opponent looking into my my fights that I have on the Instagram. So I turned myself on private, and then I go on my phone to the toilet break, and what do I see? I see a fucking follow request from this girl that I went on three dates with at the end of last year. And uh, I, I really liked her, but she was just being really strange, and she uh, she was waiting, like, extremely long times before answering my texts. And then she started to cancel my last few dates. At one point, she didn't even tell me she was cancelling until an hour after we were supposed to have met up. Now, luckily, I didn't leave. I didn't leave for the day, so I wasn't, I wasn't stood up, because she was always, she was being weird all day with the replies, so I didn't leave the house. But I did miss I missed training because I, I wasn't sure if I should leave or go to training, so that really pissed me off. And then um, she had massive tits, so I kind of uh, over I, I like I stepped over my pride and uh, asked again. I was like, hey, uh, let's try again. I, I'm not proud of that, and that's one of the reasons why I'm like, listen, I I got to stop being such a fucking simp and uh, stop chasing girls because it's fucking gay and it's not me. And, uh, yeah, she was probably one of the main motivating factors to not talk to any other girls this year. And, um... And when, she, when she followed me, obviously it's Valentine's Day, she's now... Th she's probably been out with a bunch of other dudes. And now it's Valentine's Day, she's got no one. And she's thinking about how I treated her. And she's, she obviously wishes that she went out with me again. 
It's, it's just a little bit upsetting, you know, because I liked her, and she obviously likes me still. And it's like, why did you fucking ruin this, man? You know, we could have been, we could have been a nice little thing, but you decided to go and be a hoe, basically. <laughs> go on more dates when you obviously did like me, because now you're here, fucking. I didn't even complete this. Now you're here sending me follow requests on Valentine's Day, so I'm obviously in your mind because this is almost two months ago. Well, it is two months ago since we have, we've even spoken. And now you're sending me fucking follow requests, you know? It's just it was a shame. I just thought what a shame because I like I really liked her, and uh, obviously it still stands that I find her attractive, but I'm not fucking entertaining her messages now. Um. Yeah, that upset me a little bit. I was like, what the hell, man? So she did still like me, but she was just being really weird on text for some stupid reason. So I kind of, I, I don't think I showed it that much, but I was just, I was like, man, I need a hug, you know? So I went up to this guy in the kitchen, I just fucking hugged him. I was like, yeah, I didn't even explain why, I just went, thanks, man. He was like, oh, that was nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, that sucked, man. She was really cool. I really liked her. And uh, I think she would have been, she would have been good. Obviously, this is well before I met um, this girl at the restaurant who <laughs> goes without saying I have way stronger feelings for. And that isn't, that isn't because um, the benefit of hindsight and, and it's been a while. At the height of my feelings for this girl who, who sent me a follow request today, it was never even closer to my feelings at the moment for this one. And um, what am I doing? I'm just walking around. More logs, more wood. Oh yeah, I want to. Yeah, so I want to get sticks for item frames. Um. Guess I need more. Have a stack of sticks, half stack. And uh, yeah, so. I will say though that, that my day with the main most important girl went quite well. It did go quite well. Um, the day started with, I mean, when I walked in, I was I was nine minutes late, so I was a little bit like, I was like shit, sorry. They haven't brought me up for being late once. <laughs> but um, I, I always don't like to be late, even though I always am. Um, I asked the manager, like, there was no one, there was actually no one there, and I was like, okay, what can I do? And she said, go outside and fold napkins with this girl. I was like, fantastic. My favourite job, anything with this girl. And uh, we did that for a while. We obviously exchanged chat. And uh, that crazy waiter that I've mentioned sometimes that just says fucking crazy shit was uh, with us too. And we were all laughing at him. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it was, um, yeah, just spending time with her is just fucking the best thing ever. It just releases these chemicals in my brain that have never been released before. Speak to anyone. Um, and... Oh, dude, I tell you what though. The one bad thing is she mentioned her boyfriend and she said the first positive thing she's ever said about him before. Dope, beast. And uh, I was like, fuck, in my head I was like, shit. That's the first positive thing she's ever said about him. Now, it's a good thing that that's the first positive thing she's ever said, but it's a bad thing that that's the first positive thing. Like, damn it, maybe they're on an uptrend. And I also noticed later that she posted a Valentine's Day post of him. I was like, fuck, this is bad. But then again, they say couples that post all the time are actually most unhappy. That's what they say. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was like, shit, mixed feelings. And then she kept coming in and she wanted to do cutlery with me. And she's a waitress, she's not supposed to do cutlery, but she wanted to do it. Maybe not with me, I think she just wanted to do it to get out, but... Either way, we were spending more time together and just going back and forth, talking about stuff, and... She was she was returning questions, it wasn't just me one-sided, she was returning questions, which... Is remarkably rare for somebody like me, for some reason, I don't know why. I'm not an ugly looking guy, but, yeah, I, I don't know. But, like, it's very rare when I'm having a conversation with a girl and she's returning questions, but she does. Unprovoked, but no, no. Returning questions is one thing. When you say how are you, how are you feeling today, and you say good, thanks. How are you? But then that's returning a question, obviously. But uh, she actually, from a moment of silence, she will break the silence, asking a question into a new topic of conversation. And I'm over overcomplicating this like massively, but basically she carries a conversation, okay? And um, yeah, it's just like. 
I just, yeah, I just love being around her. And, um, polish some cutlery. She was really tired of the shift, though. She wanted to go home. And, uh, yeah, so as I've already, I've already said, I've, I, I went and at the end of the shift put the rose on her car. Haven't heard anything yet. And, um, we go back on Friday. And we'll see. I mean, wh when I walked away, I said, guys, I'm leaving. See you later. Um, as I walked away, I heard one of the girls, not the one I, I really like. I heard one of the girls say, basically, um, I like my name. So she said she liked me. I in like a friendly way, w not not one of the girls that, not the girl that I like. Um, so yeah, and uh, and then and then I heard the girl that I like jokingly say, I hate my name, enter my name, Faris. And, um, and obviously it was a joke, but then, but then one, because uh, she said it loud so I could hear it on purpose. And, um, and then one of the guys from the kitchen uh, said to her, like sort of jokingly, said, but do you though, wink, wink. And I could hear this all, my, my hearing is pretty good. My hearing is good distance wise, but for some reason, my yeah, my, my hearing is good, but my memory is shit. So if somebody says something to me, like a table number, 10 seconds, I've forgotten it. Boom. So people think my hearing is shit. Um, but it's actually my memory. <laughs> um, but yeah, I could hear that all. And I was like, well, everyone's always, not always, but more than once people have teased us for flirting with each other. And I think if she can feel that, that's a step in the right direction. Okay, let's do Rose here. Let's go on here. Rose of Cobble. No, I should do Deep Slate first. Rose of Deep Slate. Cobbled in here. Rose of Cobble. And then, I don't know, Stone, Andesite, Granite, Diorite. Seems seems to make sense there. Gravel. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we she she got teased a little bit there, and um, yeah, then I drove home. I sort of I don't really know how to feel about the situation. I guess only time will tell now. And I mean, as people have said more logically, um, like the the guy that I do PTs for said, "Listen, mate, I hope it goes well, but you got to remember she has a boyfriend, so you can only really expect so much." And he's right, you know, he's absolutely right. You know, it's not. Uh, I mean, to an extent, if it was super easy, that would actually be a red flag. Like if you're going out with somebody who is super easy to pull them away from their relationship, then it's not going to be that hard for that to happen to you either. Um, that's a, that's a smart way of looking at it. Oh man, I really, really like her. So I hope it works. But today I was fucking thinking, shit. I don't know if it's gonna fucking work. But uh, the flowers have been planted. I hope that they haven't blown off. Um, and I know there's one of the boys in uh, in the back of the bar. He's like 15, so she drives him home. And um, if I can, because I know that he has loose lips, because he's the guy that told her. That one of the other really like the forty-year-old bar guy has a crush on her, which is just weird. But um, he wait, hold on. Oh, let's let's do minerals here. But then where's food gonna go? I think food should go like just come up here. Food would be like round here and farm stuff. Food and farm, cobble wood. Yeah, sounds cool. Back here is going to be the least visited area, so the least, I guess, like mission. I don't know. We'll figure out as we go along. Move stuff around. Yeah, I'm liking this chest room better already. I'll probably uh, redo these blocks later. Depends how much time I spend in here. This is supposed to be another temporary base whilst I redo that, but when I'm redoing that, that's going to be a massive job, so we'll see. Um. I'm just gonna put all these down. So 
these are rows, rows. I suppose it'll work differently in the center chests. Do. Kind of like that. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know how to feel about today as far as developments with this girl go. Um, I think, you know, I've definitely made a move, you know. Um, and maybe I'll try to cultivate my relationship more with this with this guy in, in the bar. And I can find out for sure if she received the flowers. Which would be somewhat put me at peace a little bit to know if she's received them and she's thinking who gave these to me. Or if they just blew off and she'd never seen them before. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I, it'll probably become a lot more obvious on Friday when we're, when we're at work again together. She might even just straight up ask me. I don't really know what the fuck I'd say to that. I have to think. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's how that's going, really. Um, on the way back, I... Uh, it started pouring with rain, but I made sure to post my letters uh, before I got home. Did that in a post box, and um, yeah, got in, had some cereal with my tablet, because I need to take three a day with food, and uh, came upstairs, watched a little bit of Godzilla versus King Kong, and uh, here I am doing this. I'm just going to chop these down. And uh, call it a day. Interesting day though. Made some progress with the business. Um, weird Valentine's Day. Past people been on dates with contacting me for no reason. I checked as well. She's unfollowed me already now. Um, so she followed. She requested to follow me. I accepted. I didn't follow her back. And then she unfollowed me. <laughs> so yeah. Um, that's how it goes, and that's the end, thank you. Oh, also, yeah, I forgot to mention, shout out to this one dude who commented on my video, to uh, yesterday's video. Uh, it's cool to have guys watching, finally. And, uh, if you do watch, leave a comment, let me know, let me know how your day was, let me know what your goals are. It's good for the algorithm, get more people on here, just, you know, I think, I think it's really important to, I think everybody needs to journal. Everybody needs to journal their life, so when you're talking about your day or writing about your day, you're forced to look at your day and if you actually did anything, and then um, that will force you to act differently in the days ahead because you want to sort of have a good journal instead of just some lazy fucking journal. But yeah, that's it. Thanks.